Anchored in family. First of all, what is an anchor? Not the kind of anchor that keeps a boat stationary, but it does serve some of the same purposes. An anchor keeps you grounded, gives you something to turn to in hard times, and allows you to be yourself. My anchor is family. Anchoring yourself in family keeps you grounded. Family are some of the only people that can keep you on the right track at all times. They support your decisions and always make sure you're doing the right thing. Family means no one gets left behind or forgotten. David Ogden Stiers. Have you ever been embarrassed by your family? I know I have, but in the end, I just know they're looking out for me. Anchoring yourself in family gives you something to turn to in hard times. You rely on your family more than you think, especially when put in tough situations. Four years ago, my grandpa died. It was, that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to go through. I had a really hard time with that, and I thought I was the only person that was struggling. But it turns out that my family struggled with me at the same time. I was never alone. I asked my mom some questions about family, and I asked her what she thought the most important qualities of family were. She said, love, happiness, forgiveness, empathy, respect, and love. Anchoring yourself in family allows you to be yourself. You don't choose your family. They are God's gifts to you as you are to them. Desmond Tutu. Have you ever felt awkward or shy? Maybe you moved to a new school or were forced to meet new people? Whenever you're around your family, you should never feel awkward or shy. You should feel relaxed and comfortable. As humans, we don't relax enough. So some easy ways to spend time with family but relax at the same time are family dinners, family game nights, and my favorite, family vacations. Although family, anchoring yourself in family has many positive effects, you can encounter many obstacles and challenges at the same time. Maybe you're not close with your family, or maybe your parents are divorced. Maybe you've experienced a tragedy, or you have a bad family history of drug abuse or physical abuse. Well, some possible solutions for that are set, setting, aside a time, setting aside time to spend with family and surrounding yourself with a supportive friend group. Not everybody has the same anchor, so I challenge you to find yours. But how do you do that? Ask yourself three questions. Does it allow you to be yourself? Is it there for you in hard times? And does it keep you grounded? Thank you.